each element as they come together. There goes another choo-choo. Is that the four o'clock? The site is massive, it's 45 acres, and there's a range of potential in terms of starting something from scratch and uh, working with the Brainerd community as a whole. It was very rugged and dangerous work here. Trains coming right next to the human body. Anything could go wrong at any time. So here in the boiler shop, we're reflecting on the notion of the workers coming together. They are a common, unique unit. And so we're aligning the 35 workers in a grid format with the architecture itself. I like working with very simple elements that will later turn into something greater. We built several models to begin with, and several of the models were very small. They uh, were very elemental and very simple forms. First began with initial trestle shapes, and then added more, and then added more, and then added more. One side of the trestle has a very high-pitched A-frame with what's known as sway braces. And so we had to move up the X shapes and cut out the center so that people could walk down the center. This notion of the weather and the effect of the weather, the air, the wind, the breezes coming through the trestle. I knew immediately I, I wanted some sort of uh, sound piece right when I came to the complex, but also in thinking about the greater spaces. I was thinking in terms of the etherealness of the space, the sheer dynamics of the space, but also distorted sounds that you would hear within the space connecting with wind or roof sounds or garage doors opening or the train movement coming in and out of here. From the start, what originally was going to be a singular outdoor sculpture shifted to something much larger over a period of time. For the Northern Pacific site, it's bringing in waves of phone calls, it's bringing in people that want to lease the site and use it in various creative and artistic ways. I think it was a success for me because it pushed me to go beyond my previous works not only as a visual artist, but as a painter, sculptor, now perhaps becoming an artist uh, using large-scale sites and venues. Minnesota artists need to be listened to. We have an incredible amount of highly talented artists. They just need a little push by the media, and if done so, their careers would open up. We need to be out there sharing each other's stories and supporting one another. That goes back into the notion of the trestle workers being individuals, but yet together as one. 